Good day, everyone. You know, when you get a situation where your product can literally be sold to millions and even billions of people on the planet, then greed goes to a level never before seen on a worldwide scale. And this has certainly happened with COVID-19. And in this article in Forbes, it says Pfizer's COVID vaccine protection against Omicron fades just weeks after second and third doses study finds. This is a peer-reviewed study. So it's, it's telling you that the second and third doses, their protection fades. And the people won't say now, but they came up with a bad vaccine. No, they are telling you, you need more of this ineffective vaccine. Let me get into the article and you can find the article link in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. So Pfizer COVID vaccine protection against Omicron phases weeks after second and third doses study finds immunity against the Omicron coronavirus variant fades rapidly after a second and third dose of Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine. According to a peer-reviewed, this is peer-reviewed research published in JAMA Network Open on Friday, a finding that could support rolling out additional booster shots to vulnerable people as the variant drives an uptick in new cases across the country. So instead of saying, but this is a crappy vaccine, what they are saying is that we should give more of the vaccine money. Um, people, really, even the people that are pro-vaccination, that believes that the vaccinations work for them, that have gone for vaccines, should ask themselves, where will this end? All you have to do is, it's, it's like making a crappy car that breaks every two years, and then you have to sell people the same car, because there's no one else that can manufacture this car. In fact, the countries where you sell it only approve certain cars to be sold. And, uh, you know, any layman can understand what I'm saying by this. Levels of Omicron specific neutralizing antibodies which can target the virus and stop it from replicating declined rapidly after a second and third dose of Pfizer's shot. According to the Danish study of 128 people who had received two or three doses, antibody levels which are associated with protection against infection and disease fell within weeks of getting the shots and were much lower than the level of antibodies specific to the original and Delta coronavirus variants, the researchers said. I'm not going to get into the rest of the article. You can go and read the rest. The bottom line is this. As long as a threat is there, these companies can make unlimited amounts of money. And I don't see enough people talking about this. This should be in the mainstream media. And it sh Forbes shouldn't put out an article like this. They should ask why these people are not being able to create a vaccine that is effective. It is so simple for profit to have a product that does the job for a short period of time, but then fails. And then you have to come up with the next and the next and the next. And you don't have to refund the original person that purchased the product for free. No, they must pay for it again. Because it's not the government paying for it, it's a taxpayer, it's you and I that are paying for it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications for new videos. Till the next video.